So in the process of doing R&D, one of the tools that we got is a more efficient way, a more accurate way of actually measuring the downrange trajectories and impact velocities of our bullets. And that's one of the things that ultimately led us to determine that there is a problem with everybody's plastic tips when they are pushed at higher velocity. There's erosion, and that erosion changes the ballistic performance. Ten years ago when I came out of college, I tried to put bullets in a wind tunnel in school because I knew that I knew the temperatures on the tips of the bullets were high. That's you know aerodynamic heating. It's a it's a known fact. But when you factor in, okay, the bullet's flight is very fast, it reaches the target in you know a half a second or one second. Your time for heat transfer is so low. Does heat transfer occur? How long does it take? What type of rates are we talking about? You get into a bunch of variables that we had never been able to measure. Traditional test methods of the aerodynamics of a bullet are typically done with either chronographs or acoustic detectors. And this works well, and it's worked well for a long time, but you're only able to get very few data points. You know, if, if you have a chronograph screen at the muzzle and then at 200 yards, you only have two data points. You don't know what's going on in between there. You don't know what's going on at 300 yards, 400 yards, and you try to apply the number that you generated uh, for BC over 200 yards and you try to extrapolate that or generate that number and say it applies for 800 yards, 600 yards. You inherently generate air when you do that. What the Doppler radar allows us to do is track the bullet every one to two feet in its flight. I mean, we are getting a data point essentially all the way out to a mile in certain cases on these bullets, then we can really analyze what's going on with it versus just seeing what two points of its performance or three points of its performance might be. The data and the amount of data that you get uh, just blows away trying to measure stuff with chronographs or acoustic microphones. It's just, it's a, it's a step in the right direction for ballistic science. You know, prior to this, the ballistic system that we have all used has depended on developing a formula that was based off of a standard projectile and, and that every bullet was some percentage of efficiency based off that bullet. The advent of Doppler radar in this case eliminates the formula and allows us to precisely document every moment of that projectile's travel downrange. And I think that it has the potential to change completely our ballistic measurement system, going away from the use of a ballistic coefficient, as it were, to providing an actual trajectory, a known trajectory, rather than a projected one based off of a, off a formula. Doppler radar actually gives you the exact drag curve for your projectile. You're not comparing to some other standard now. You have the standard. The radar gives you the standard for your projectile.